Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be looking at the top five most savage moments in MLB history. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother. Probably the stupidest moment on the list was in Game 2 of the 2000 World Series between the Mets and Yankees. In the first inning with two outs, Mike Piazza got jammed by a Roger Clemens fastball and fouled the ball off and his shattered bat bounced to Clemens, who would then throw the shard of wood back at Piazza. Clemens said he didn't see Piazza, but the notion was clearly on purpose and probably fueled by an incident earlier in the year when Clemens hit Piazza in the head and post-game Piazza said he did it on purpose. This play is just straight up savage on both ends. Henry Ramirez took offense when Carlos Villanueva came up and in on a pitch, and the next pitch when he walked, he dropped the bat between Diane and Navarro's legs, and Navarro wasn't going to take his shit, so he broke his bat with one arm. In a Florida Marlins game in September of 2001, while AJ Burnett was warming up before an inning, he threw a fastball with perfect aim through a car window, and the funny thing is that just four months earlier, he had no aim when he walked eight guys en route to a no-hitter. Did he do it on purpose? Let's just take it from his then catcher, Mike Redman. He had been trying to do that for almost the whole year. I think he skipped one off the ground screw guy once, off his shoulder, and hit the bumper a couple times. I used to dread it because I knew when I saw that car rolling out of left field, I'd go, oh man, here we go. I think that this is the first time a pitcher has thrown at a batter when they're not in the batter's box. That was just a memo of the nasty boys, Ron Dibble, Norm Charlton, and Randy Myers in the 90s. So when Doug DeCenzo squeeze bunted with his team winning by two runs in the eighth inning, and Ron Dibble didn't approve, he threw the ball at him, not caring about the out or even the fact that he would advance to second base. Albert Bell just destroyed second baseman Fernando Vina. This would be the third time in the previous 100 days that Albert Bell had been reprimanded by Major League Baseball officials. This play happened on June 3, 1996, and in February 1996, he was fined $50,000 for his profane tirade at a television reporter, and 18 days before the incident, he was ordered to see immediate counseling when he threw a baseball at a magazine photographer. But what happened on that June night in Cleveland was insane. In the third inning, a ground ball was hit to Vina, and he tagged Albert Bell and threw to first for a double play. Then in the eighth inning, after Bell was hit by pitch and on first base, the same play happened, and he demolished Fernando Vina. But he wasn't thrown out of the game, which was a complete mistake, as in the ninth inning, Albert Bell told Indians pitcher Julian Tavares to hit a batter. When Mike Matheny stepped up to the plate, the first pitch sailed five feet behind him, and a brawl broke out. There were other savage moments, like in a AAA game in 2001 when Izzy Alcantara drop-kicked the catcher and charged the mound. Also, I could have made an entire video on David Ortiz, so I'm going to sign out and leave you guys with a David Ortiz compilation. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoy and you want to see more, please subscribe. And until next time. I'm thinking he's going to take that for ball four, and down to first base he goes. Before this even gets into the glove. See you later. Yeah, you don't want to throw to me. <laughs> balls and strikes. Wow. I don't think that phone's going to work anymore. Hold on, hold on.